Howdy folks. This evening we're going to be creating an unordered list in CSS and creating bullets uh, only via CSS. This is not exactly an advanced tutorial, just really a quick tip, but it's um, something um, I actually only found out in the last week. So it might be useful if um, you're still using the older uh, technique of using background images. So let's dive right in. Okay, so in Dreamweaver, I have my page ready and I'm just going to create a bog standard list. List item one through to four. Save and let's see what that looks like. Okay, so pretty basic. Now, so if I pop into my CSS, I'm going to create my styles. Okay, so if we add a If we add a property of position relative, anything um, in the before element which we're going to be using will be absolutely positioned to that list item. So I'm sure you're well aware of the before and after properties, very, very handy. And in this case, um, I've just been stuck on my old ways using background images. Um, I only thought about this, um, yeah, a few days ago. I'm just like, okay, I need to um, start up, um, upgrading this method. So in our list item, let's just have a look here. Okay, great. So no items at all. So here, in the before um, property, we're going to add content and just leave that blank. If I can spell it, that would be great. Then we're going to add a position of absolute. Give it a top property of mm, maybe four pixels. Give it a left property of hmm, 12 pixels. Let's just see how that goes. And the most important thing, we're going to give it a background of, let's say, red. Um, let's see how that looks now. Just clear the cache. Okay, let's see. Um, nothing. Hmm, great. So if we check this, inspect this element, we will see before we have a top, we have a left, and we have the position and the content. They're all there. It's it should be correct. But we also need to give it a height and a width. Um, value. So let's say hmm, maybe eight pixels and a width of eight pixels. Okay, great. So we need to add those and then we need to um, give the list item a padding. So okay. Now, so we need to actually give, okay, okay. Okay, so on the list item, we actually need to give this a padding left of maybe hmm, 24 pixels. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it does not go. Okay, there we go. 
So, yeah, that looks fine. Um, well, <laughs> as fine as um, a test case can be. So maybe we'll give it a bit more. Um, oh, we'll give it a bit more padding maybe. So let's say 28. Great. So you'll see here that the CSS bullet item is a square. So okay, yeah, looks it looks good. Okay, so to change that into a bullet, as I'm sure you're well aware, we're just going to give it a border radius of 100 pixels. Quick refresh. And there you go. Maybe the bullet item is a little bit too big, but I mean, it's just to kind of show you how to do it. So I'd probably actually use five pixels now that I see it. Yeah, that looks better. Maybe the top. Give it maybe another pixel probably. So anyway, so there you go. That's how to create um, CSS bullet points in CSS. Thanks for watching.